Good evening. Scared animals, lack of crowd control, and not much profit to show for it. Now, the city says it is reworking one of its most popular zoo events, what used to be called the Zoo Boo. News 13's Jackie Kent is live this evening at the zoo with what you can expect this year. Jackie? Dean Jessica, as many as 14,000 people come through these gates for the annual event. Now the zoo's fundraising arm says it will finally be able to pocket a lot more money this year thanks to some big changes. From superheroes to princesses. Halloween. Thousands of people pack the Rio Grande Zoo every year for the annual Zoo Boo Trick or Treat Party. My favorite treat is slimes. But for the wildly popular event's 31st year, the Biopark Society is taking it over from its previous media sponsor, radio station owner American General Media. We went out for bid this year. Um, they did not reapply. It has always been a zoo run event. However, the funds weren't staying at the zoo. So that's why we said, OK, we're not going to argue. Now calling it a fundraiser with all proceeds going back to the biopark. It could be anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000 annually. Where now while we're doing it, we're expecting to raise fifty dollars to $80,000. And that's net for the facility. Money that will go toward much needed zoo equipment, fun items for the animals, and necessities for the veterinary clinic. That's awesome. There's a lot of things that um, need upgraded. The Biark Society says the noticeable changes for guys and ghouls this year. We have many more haunted habitats. We have a lot of sort of education-based um, fun activities going on. Um, you'll also be able to create enrichment items for the animals. She says in years past, big crowds have riled up the animals, something the biopark is working to prevent this year. We are asking people to not wear inflatable costumes. Um, the inflatables make people large and kind of more scary to the animals. The company that used to run the party took the Zoo Boo name with them. It's now called Boo at the Zoo, and this year's event is October 26th. Dean, back to you. All right, looks like fun. Jackie, thank you. Tickets go on sale Tuesday. It's $10 for adults, $2 for kids, and it will be half price for members. You may have noticed another popular event was missing on the zoo's schedule this year. The Beastly Bash, which is usually held in early September, was canceled for the second year in a row. That nighttime event for adults also featured alcohol. Two years ago, a woman hit her head on the merry-go-round and sued the biopark, but staff say that is not the reason for the cancellation. They claim it just did not make enough money or offer enough of an educational component.